Something just came out that I think changed cold email forever. You see, the cold email software that was already the most powerful and simple has just got a massive upgrade. They dropped an AI tool called Instantly Copilot that handles everything that you need when it comes to cold email and you hardly need to lift a finger. Everything from building lead lists, creating entire campaigns on the spot, summarizing your key analytics so you can make good decisions, and way more. In this video, we're going to explore all of its use cases and if it's worth using for you. When you go to instantly.ai, there is a little star on the top left that will direct you to Instantly Copilot. When we log in, what you will see is basically an interface that allows you to chat with it. And basically, this is trained on all of the cold email principles that are worth having. It can do things like finding our ideal prospects. If we type in our prospect list, who we're wanting to target, what it will do is actually use Instantly Super Search feature. And then it will suggest a list of leads that we can then open up inside of Super Search. It can generate full campaigns for you, given the lead list, write your email copy, and it it will even suggest all of the follow-ups that you can also add. And you can literally add it to your campaign in one click. It can write a cold email sequence. It can give you campaign ideas. If you want a specific angle or a specific offer, then it can actually give you ideas for that and then follow up with writing a campaign. It give you weekly analytics on your performance of your campaign. It can find the best performing campaigns that you're launching if you're launching multiple campaigns within your workspace. And you can get ideas and you can just have it audited. But before we dive deep into all of these, what's going to be super important is setting up our memory. What happens a lot of times when people use AI is they will think that AI is going to be their ticket to finally having success, ticket to finally buying back time. But the problem is, is a lot of people don't put the work in to foundationally set up the foundation of AI so that it can actually give you good responses. And what Instantly Copilot has done is they've created what's called a memory. Think of this as like a custom GPT that is trained on actually your business and knows everything about your business so that when you do prompt it, it actually gives you good responses. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to have to repeat ourselves over and over again. We don't want to put a very lazy prompt inside of Instantly Copilot because we're going to get what we put into it. What we first want to do when setting this up is we want to set up the memory. Go on the left hand side, you'll see this tag called memory. And the memory basically is how we're training the instantly copilot in order to give us the best response. And what the memory will do is it's going to learn everything about your business so that it can provide the best answers possible. What we can do is we can do a couple of different things. We could just click read my website. And what this will do is it'll direct you to basically plug your website in. And what this will do is it'll scrape your website and it'll fill in the memory based off of the information on your website. The second thing that we can do is we can have it read a PDF or a text file. What you could do if you have this is you could basically create a PDF, create a doc of your ideal client profile, the offers that you have, everything about your business that is going to be important when it comes to lead generation and sales, add it to a Google Doc, export it as a PDF, and then upload it. And lastly, what you can do is you can edit it manually. What I would spend a lot of time doing is building that memory because once the memory is really set, then you don't really need to touch it and it's really trained on your business. In my case, I just added it manually. And the manual tasks that I added are things like my website, my company name, business description, any awards that we've won, our outreach goal as it pertains to using instantly for our cold outreach. Then once it has some basic business details, what did I do? I added a couple of customer profiles. And then as we click into here, what we're doing is we're naming the ideal client profile. We're talking about the problems that solve the benefits. What is our offer? What is our unique selling proposition? What are the customer goals? What are some success stories? What's the email action? What is the communication style, et cetera, et cetera. Etc. And you can create a few of these. Maybe you have one, maybe you have two. But what's important is we are taking our time building the memory and setting this stuff up because if we foundationally are setting ourselves up for success, then what we're going to get from Instantly Copilot is going to be successful and ideal. And then lastly, guidance. So just up to 10 smart rules, basically just keeping the email short, lead with value first, start with a pain point, lead with a problem that they know, ending with a call to action that makes sense. I'm basically just telling them that this is what I want my emails to be formatted based off of my offer. I want the call to action not to be book a call, but make it a call to action that is a no brainer for my ideal client profile. Let's assume that now the memory is set up. The next thing that I want to hit on is our settings. If we go to our settings, there's a few different options that we can play with. There's what's called warp mode that basically can generate entire campaigns and enrich leads without requesting confirmation. Meaning we can just type in, hey, create a campaign based off of this. Boom, it will automatically create it. Follow up suggestions. I'll show you what those are. I like these enabled. They're actually really helpful. Analytics, also helpful. Execute co-pilot tools. Basically, it'll 
it'll execute tools and perform actions automatically, enriching leads limits. Because it will enrich leads when you're in warp mode, you can give it a limit to make sure that you're not using all of your credits. And then what you can also do is you can send Slack notifications. You can also create tasks. So on the left-hand side, if we go to tasks, what you will see is you'll be able to create tasks for different things that you'd want. Maybe it's run my analytics weekly and send me a Slack notification. There's a lot of different tasks that we can do that we can send prompts to instantly copilot every single week, every single day, every single month, giving you ideas on a consistent basis based off of what's actually working well. Now let's go into how we can actually use this. I'm going to go ahead and go to new chat. And let's just say I want to find ideal prospects. So if I click suggest me a lead list based off of my business, then I can go ahead and click send there. And what this will do is it will then create a list of potential prospects based off of my memory. And it'll give me the filters that it chose. And then it'll give me all the leads. And the best part about this is I don't need to take all these filters and copy and paste it. This is automatically synced with instantly super search. And all I need to do is just click on this button and it'll open up that super search in a new tab. And I'm able to then find these emails just literally in two clicks without having to think about what I want to search for without having to manually do all the filters. And what you could also do is you could even find ideal prospects based off of a specific scenario. You could say something like find me a list of leads that are home service companies. I want to reach out to the founders, CEOs, or owners of them. What you can do is you can create the list. You can have it suggest you a list based off of specific angles, based off of a specific copy that you're going to do, based off of specific offers. And all we really need to do is go ahead and click find and enrich, and it will open up in a new tab. And in just one click, you can find the emails based off of the list that it suggests. You may have heard me mention the suggest follow-ups in the settings. So the suggested follow-ups are right here. So what we can even do after we have the list is we could say, create me a copy sequence for the outreach campaign. And what we can do based off of the principles that we've taught in the memory, it will craft the email sequence based off of the lead list, based off of our offer, based off of everything inside of our memory. Let's go ahead and click on warp mode. And I'm going to go ahead and click on generate a full campaign. I'm going to give this more context. I want to target agency owners in the United States. I want to invite them to my scaling workshop where we go over four systems that allowed us to scale to $200,000 per month, make the call to action. Can I drop a link to the registration so you can reserve your spot, put a sense of urgency on it as we only have so many seats. And the workshop is on July 14th. Because I'm in warp mode, what it's going to do is it's going to do everything for me. It's going to build the lead list. It's going to create the campaign and it's going to literally in one click allow me to then add it to my campaign and then I'm ready to go. As we see here, found leads, suggest the lead list, which I could update if needed. And what we also have it doing is it's creating the multi-step campaign. So it's creating the initial email with copy that's contextual to the memory, contextual to what I'm training it to do. It's giving me three different variants. Then it's also creating three follow-ups with two variants per follow-up in one click. What it's also doing is also creating the campaign inside of Instantly Automatically. If I just click on this right here, what will pop up is the campaign pre-built and ready to go. So when you're in warp mode, what it will actually do is it'll do everything for you so you don't need to do anything. And then what it's also doing is it's creating the lead list that we created. So it's automatically enriching the list of leads. That's where in the settings, we want to make sure we have the quantity of enriched leads if you are in warp mode because it will do it automatically. And then it'll give a recap of your campaign details. In just a couple of clicks, I built the lead list, enriched the leads, created the campaign email sequence, and it automatically created the campaign inside of Instantly so that it is ready to go. This is a game changer, saves me a lot of time, and allows me to move quickly when it comes to building my campaigns. Let's just say you want just some ideas. Give me some ideas on some angles that I can reach out to agency owners. We scale to 200K per month and now help agencies do the same using four systems. How can I create an amazing campaign targeting these people? So let's just see what this comes up with. Personal success story angle, pain point and financial impact angle, value first offer angle, niche specific targeting angle, case study and social proof angle. And then what I could say is I could say, help me generate an email sequence based on the pain point angle. And what it will 
do is based off of the angle that I just prompted it to do, it will then create the email sequences with the opener and then the follow-ups as well that I can quickly add inside of my campaigns. And then all I need to do is use in the campaign and it adds to the campaign. We just went over how to get leads, how to create some campaign ideas, how to generate full campaigns in one click. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you real quick how you can get analytics. So if I just click on weekly analytics, then what it will do is it'll then share all the weekly analytics based off of all of our campaigns. So not only do we create the campaigns, what it's going to allow us to do is analyze the campaigns. If you're sending high volume, if you're using instantly, one of the best things that you should learn is how to be effective with your analytics and how to read your analytics and do all this stuff. Because if you're not reading your analytics, then it's going to be really challenging for you to make adjustments, make any moves based off of your performance. Because if you don't know how things are performing, you're not going to know how to make any adjustments. It can also give you your best performing campaigns and so much more guys. And what it's doing is it's reading all of your analytics. You can even go even deeper with this and you could say which campaign is getting me the best amount of opportunities, what has the best amount of positive replies. You can get analytics that are really, really in depth that you can then use to make informed decisions going forward. And then the follow ups here, I want to build targeted list for my next campaign. Can you help me create a new outreach sequence for my leads based off of the best performing campaigns, etc. The last thing I want to hit on is creating a recurring task. You could say, give me a monthly recap of my analytics. And if I click on make this a recurring task monthly, I can go ahead and just click on that. What this will do is every single month, it will give me a monthly recap of all my analytics. And what you can do is you can set up an automation that when this runs, it will automatically send you a Slack notification or email notification so that you're aware of what's going on with your cold email campaigns. It will also give you insights and recommendations in everything that you need in order to be informed on the performance of your cold email. This is a game changer in the cold email space. Not only are you going to save time because you don't have to write cold emails over and over again, it's going to make you money because it's going to give you recommendations based off of what is actually working. It's also making it easier than ever to have success with cold email because the barrier of entry of prompting this is pretty low. All we need to do is review it and then use it. We can simply use Instant Copilot to be that copilot with us in order to actually have success with cold email. And before you dive into this and start prompting it and start using your campaigns, I want to make a couple of things clear. One, credits are per action. So what you're asking it to do, just make sure that you're budgeting accordingly so that you're not burning all your credits, just testing things out. You want to make sure that you have enough credits in order to play with in order to have good. It's pretty generous what you can do with the amount of credits that you have too. AI isn't always thousand percent perfect. What I wouldn't recommend is creating campaign, clicking, 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 just sending it without reviewing it and putting your touch on it. What AI does is it helps expedite everything. It helps provide what it knows and put it two cents and enhancements on it. But it's still going to take time for you to review everything and to prompt it and make sure that you're giving it the best information possible so that I can give you the best outputs possible. The next thing is focus on the memory. It will give you what you put into it. The more that you can focus on the memory, the better outputs that you will receive for your cold emails. And at the end of the day, guys, Instantly Copilot, in my opinion, is a game changer. It has been really helpful for me already. It's already helpful for hundreds of business owners. And if you use this correctly, you will reap the massive benefits that Instantly Copilot can provide to you. Now, if you want to see how this software works in real time, just click the video on the screen where we set up a challenge to go from scratch, no business at all, to having a full business plan, an offer, all of the copy, and a core service that will actually sell using Instantly.ai in less than 10 hours. So if you're feeling a bit skeptical and you're unsure if this will actually work in real life, head over to that video and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you over there.